Hey guys, this is Tony could have been. I'm just checking it right now to see my hairline's receding or not. I know I got some gray hairs because all this fucking stress, but yeah, I got a haircut today. Yeah, I got a shade on the sides, you know, because I'm trying to pull something off. But I'm trying to pull this off, kind of like this thing going on right here, you know, like sh half shaved and half long like that. Uh, but that's all I'm here to talk about. <laughs> um, well, this is what I'm here to talk about, and I will tell you. I have a friend who has bipolar disorder. His parents never learned English. You know, he happens to be Asian, he's Chinese, and um, he himself never learned Cantonese, which is a dialect of Chinese. He was actually in school to learn Mandarin, but I think his parents took him out of it because, you know, it, it cost money, and uh, I think there was a disagreement with the parents of a different student that, uh, which is where we found out about the school. Uh, at the troublesome age of 13, he was a teenager, he was 13, and uh, he told his parents that, you know, like, the current communication system uh, wasn't gonna work, because um, it's just in general, like, like family members need to talk to each other, you know, like, that's what happens when uh, things come up, like a death in a family, or an accident, or something, God forbid, but um, you gotta be able to talk about it. 20 years have passed for him. 20 years later, there are massive communication problems. Massive. And it's no, it's just, this little strand of hair is longer than this side. But, you know, that's what happens when you try to get a haircut like this. Anyway, uh, there are massive communication problems. And uh, misunderstandings are frequent and volatile. Uh, I feel bad for him because um, he has no one to talk to about his issues except for his medical team, you know. He has uh, friends, or really the majority of his extended family, who even know much about mental health at all. Um, the old school way does not believe in mental illness. I can relate to him in that aspect, because uh, his parents are immigrants, and my parents are immigrants, and um, they just don't believe in mental illness. I mean, um, you know, I, we have something in common. Um, he's been hospitalized before, like, I think at least more than five times, I think under 10, but more than five, and, um, personally, if I had him as a kid, then I would have at least attempted to make changes at the, the very first hospitalization. I mean, like, realistically, like, why let the visits pile up so high, you know? Like, how does that help anyone? Uh, he gave me his permission to air his dirty laundry like this, you know, like, I think he wanted to get it out, get it, get the out of his system, you know, and just, uh, just try to feel better, because, um, I guess he was feeling, uh, kind of sad or something, and, um, uh, I feel bad for him, um, I know what it feels like to have no one to talk to, especially when it's just mentally impossible due to the language barrier, it's a sad and unfortunate way to go through life, I mean, but he confided in me, and he realized that, if he ever has kids, then he knows what not to do. I'm sorry I have to put it that way, but just keep it real. Keep it real for him, keep it real for me. It's just children of immigrant parents across the world, across America specifically. Uh, real talk, 10 times 10. This is Tony out. Stay frosty.